and get better how i can help my teammates be better obviously everybody wants to win a championship i want to win the championship there's nobody wanting to win a championship more than me i can guarantee you that uh but there's steps to that you gotta you gotta keep improving you gotta keep getting better and um hopefully we can get there this year well, Giannis has until the 21st to sign that extension. That is one day before the regular season starts. And Max, I want to start with you. Is Giannis under the most pressure this season to win a title? He is. And it's by default. Look around the league. First of all, what did the Bucks do in the offseason? They got rid of Eric Bledsoe. What was the problem, right? Giannis and Middleton, they needed a guy who could be a playmaker and shoot and defend and do it under pressure in the playoffs. They subtracted Eric Bledsoe, or they turned him into Drew Holiday. Bledsoe was unable to do it. Holiday has a track record of doing it, okay? So they addressed that concern, even though the Bogdanovich trade got undone. Look around. Giannis won 60 games two years ago. Last year, they were going to win 60. It was only a 73-game season, but they won 56. They'd have won 60 um, had they played a full season. This is a 60-win team in the regular season. Giannis won back-to-back -back MVPs. He's the best player in the world in the regular season, right? But he hasn't been the same in the playoffs, not quite, because he plays like a big in the playoffs. Even A, you correctly identified that before it happened. You predicted it. He's going to play like a big in the playoffs, and he did. He needs help in the backcourt. He got it. Look around the league. LeBron and AD just won one. If something should happen this season, they already got one. They'll be together going forward. They're going to be all right. There's pressure, of course. It's LeBron, always. KD, you just said it. He's coming off an Achilles. And what do we know about Kyrie? James Harden's, the Rockets are not the same. And he's not even going to be on the team. The Warriors get Steph back, but now no Clay. None of those teams, except for the Lakers, are expected to win a championship. And the Lakers just got a championship. Who else is there? The Sixers? Well, sure, they need to show they're going in the right direction. Do they need to win it right now? This moment? Do they need to do it? The Celtics got worse. Just look around the league. The Nuggets didn't get any better, really. The Clippers didn't get, it got marginally better. No, the pressure is on Giannis, the best player in the world, for two consecutive seasons until it matters most, and they address the need on the team. The, there's more pressure on Giannis to win than anyone else. <sighs> I disagree with you, Max. I don't disagree with your points, but I disagree with you because I have other targets on my mind. One could easily say James Harden. Obviously, he's got to get to a better situation than he is in Houston right now. But considering the fact that he's 31 years of age, he's a reigning three-time league scoring champion, uh, the offensive juggernaut that he is, and the fact that people have accused him of coming up short in big moments, um, I think there's a lot more pressure on him. The fact that he's five years older and has been in better situations uh, than Milwaukee, that's number one. Russell Westbrook is another name that comes up. He's 32 years of age. He's in the midst of a $217 million contract. Um, and up until last year, hadn't been out of the first round since KD left Oklahoma City. And so, yeah, he got to the semifinals last year, Western Conference semifinals, and, but now he's gotten traded and he wanted the ball in his hands. And so people are going to be looking at that. Those are names that pop into my head. But you know where I'm going, Max. You know who's number one on my list. And number one on my list, believe it or not, <laughs> is a person that already has two rings and two NBA Finals MVPs. And his name would be Kawhi <laughs> Leonard. Yes, Kawhi Leonard. Now, why would I say such a thing, Max, for a champion? Well, we know he wasn't the first, second, or third option when he won the first title in San Antonio. Um, when he won the title, when he won the title in Toronto, he won it out of San Antonio. They ship him to Toronto. They had been fresh off of winning 58, 59 games the previous two years, and you had the structure in place. He was that dude that year. Make no mistake. KD going down and all of that other stuff. Question marks about that. But now it's your team. This is your team in LeBron's town that you said what in his town when you had the commercial max and you had the crown dangling from your car mirror. And, and, uh, with the L.A. sign hovering over you, you gave every Before indication the the season, who's yeah. the king. It would be me. It would not be LeBron. So guess what? Here I come. And then y'all fold a 3-1 lead and you wet the bed in game seven. Scoreless in the second half. And, uh, you know, oh, I mean, it was pathetic. So I look at it from that perspective. The fact that LeBron is the king yeah. now, he's the champion, 
in L.A., and they did all of this for you, Kawhi Leonard, so they could get you to the Clippers. What you going to do? What you going to do? Yeah, it's even that's worse. What I'm saying. It's and even worse because the team that they collapsed against, <laughs> the Lakers took care of in five games. But, but Stephen A., here's the problem. You don't even need me for this segment. You can do a split screen with yourself. You're arguing against Stephen A. from one segment ago when you and said so Paul George is going to be the most scrutinized player. Yeah. Why yeah. would Paul George be the most scrutinized player? Because he choked in the playoffs. And mm -hmm. you have also said that uh, clearly that means that Kawhi is working with a handicap that LeBron is not. AD didn't choke in the playoffs. Um, AD played like an MVP. So that's Max not Keller. just about pressure on Kawhi. And, and, and the Clippers just got Max, marginally better. Max, There's a lot on Paul. On, jo on Paul George. Kellerman. Let me, yes. let me imitate Molly a little bit. Max or Charlie Max. Here's the deal, Max <laughs> Kellerman. The previous question was, who's going to be the most scrutinized in the league? Mm -hmm. The question here is Giannis mm -hmm. under the most pressure to win the title. Those are two different questions. Those are two different questions. Uh, I, so, no, that's no, no. true. It's, it's not from the Wait previous minute, segment. Minute. That's true. Well, you said that's I said, it, I said it in the that's previous right, segment, but, um, and that's but, not um, true. Be right, because your point about Paul George being scrutinized is because he choked in the playoffs, right? So people know going into this season, Kawhi's crime partner is not who he needs compared to LeBron, who has AD, who is what he needs. Giannis, on the other hand, goes from MVP, 60 wins a season, to going away in the playoffs, and they got him Drew Holiday, hey, which is supposed to address that. Open the night. Yeah. Open the night. Now, we're disappointed because they probably ain't going to play because after the year LeBron and AD had, I mean, they probably won't be there open the night. Uh, but but, but, but uh, we know the Lakers and the Clippers are playing open the night. Staples Center. Who, who's Milwaukee playing open?